Welcome back from the long holiday weekend. I know you're liking my tan. Get off that pool, it's time to trade some stocks. This is your morning jolt. Uh, yeah, so uh, big story of the day, obviously Nike's new ad with uh, controversial sports star Colin Kaepernick. Uh, now the stock is bidding down a little bit in pre-market trading. Uh, I think the traders are seeing this as, hey, you know what? Not everybody is a Colin Kaepernick fan. Maybe you see a little bit of an impact on the company's upcoming results as uh, a lot of people just switch off to Under Armour and Adidas for the holiday season. That's the reality. I'm not saying if it's right or wrong, that is just how the market is playing this. But keep something in mind on Nike. And this is why long-term investors probably need to be up feet on this deal. Uh, long-term shareholders, Nike off its skates where the puck is going. This company doesn't make short-term bets. They're probably making a bet where society at large will start thinking 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years down the line. They will look back on this Colin Kaepernick or deal with the NFL uh, and the Trump administration and uh, Colin Kaepernick may ultimately be proven correct. That's what Nike is thinking about here. They're trying to get a closer connection with their consumers. Short term, unsure. Longer term, probably a big win for Nike. I can tell you, just look at over the social media interaction or reactions overnight and into the morning. Looks pretty positive and favorable for Nike. I mean, they've already got a heck of a lot of mentions. Everybody's been writing about this thing. So Nike stock definitely in focus today. Next up, we got uh, the big story, I think for me is, well, how did I spend my long weekend looking at everybody calling for a stock market top in September and all the stock market haters brought all, brought all their big weapons. Stock Traders Almanac said September is a terrible month for the market. Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, all those stocks are rocking on low, rocked in low volume in August. So let's go sell stocks and run away and buy bonds and savings account and CDs. Bottom line is this, and uh, Ed Gardinia Research, uh, Ed Gardinia Research, I always follow, made some great points. The market is not going to make some, some type of nuclear meltdown in September as long as corporate profits and cash flow levels are as strong as they are. That is the bottom line. Stocks may sell off, you may get a three to 5% pullback, but you're not looking at a 10 to 15% market meltdown as many writers and, and many stock market haters are writing about right now. And last, I'll leave this on inspiration on Apple. September 12th, big product event for them. It's actually a good thing that there is no iPhone super cycle this year. Lower expectations, they could beat on products, sales, margins, etc. in 2019. Keep in mind, last year around uh, Apple's iPhone X release and the 8, everybody was calling for a super cycle or a trade up cycle uh, because the phone was so different. We didn't get that in the stock trade range bound September until about the end of April. It's only picked up now because of Warren Buffett and uh, backing and some strong quarters. That's all I got for you, Morning Joe. Clearly, I have been hyped up. I've been rested up. I'm ready to get at it. I'll see you guys soon. Sign up for that newsletter down below.